So Stephen, when people start to think about the fact that they'd like to look younger, what are their options? So the main three options are Botox, dermal fillers and cosmeceuticals. And cosmeceuticals are, are drugs with a cream or a serum that have an active um, effect. So for instance, if you're treating acne, you could use salicylic acid or retinol. If you're treating pigmentation, you could use arbutin or hydroquinone. If you want to have an anti-aging effect to protect from the sun, you can use strong SPF within the cream, or you can have antioxidants that protect against the free radicals which are generated by the sun's rays. Stephen, can you tell me a bit about the origins of Botox or botulinum toxin as it's formerly known? So Botox or botulinum toxin was first used for muscle spasticity. However, in 2002, the FDA granted approval for its use in cosmetics. And since then, its use has taken off and it's now one of the most commonly used cosmetic procedures in the world. So Stephen, is it right that Botox is injected into the muscles to relax and freeze lines and wrinkles? Yes, absolutely. And Botox has an excellent safety profile with a very low risk of systemic side effects. Can you explain more about what the treatment involves? Yes, of course, the Botox is injected directly into the muscle to stop it moving. It has very little pain associated with the injection. It's very safe. It has no known long-term side effects. Occasionally, there may be very minor bruising associated with it, but it'll be a very small amount and you should go away very quickly. And who is Botox treatment suitable for? The Botox is suitable for treating the upper part of the face. It's particularly good for people with strong frown lines or 11's lines. And it's also good for horizontal or surprise lines and also crow's feet or laughter lines. And with such a simple technique, you can have an excellent result, which can last for a number of months. Are there any people that shouldn't have Botox? People with problems of the nerves or problems within their, their muscles or neuromuscular disorders, it would be best if they avoided Botox. As a precaution, we also recommend pregnant women or women who are breastfeeding to avoid Botox, unless there's another reason why they need to have it, such as intractable migraines. What are people trying to achieve by having Botox? So with Botox, we're trying to achieve a smoother, younger looking skin, particularly in the upper face, to treat frown lines, surprise lines, laughter lines and so on. We want to do so in a natural way, so that people wouldn't even notice you've had treatment, they just think you look younger and fresher. Stephen, the second treatment you mentioned was dermal fillers. What are they and how are they used? So there are several different types of dermal fillers. You have collagen, you have fat, hydroxyapatite and hyaluronic acid. They all have pros and cons. We only use hyaluronic acid at the Hedox Clinic because it's the best and safest dermal filler to use. It is present naturally in the human body from birth and as we age, the amount of hyaluronic acid in the skin diminishes gradually over time. So what we aim to do is, is replace it by using pharmaceutical grade hyaluronic acid. So what is hyaluronic acid? Hyaluronic acid can act as a scaffolding agent within the skin to provide structure to the skin. And without hyaluronic acid or with less hyaluronic acid, the skin tends to sag and produce the characteristic signs of aging. How long do dermal fillers last? So it depends on the type of dermal filler. There are more softer varieties and more firm or harder types of fillers with more cross-linking and it depends on what type of filler it is. So for instance, you would use a more softer one for, for, for fine lines and, and for the lips and it may last six to nine months. If you use a harder or thicker filler, particularly for the cheeks, it can last 18 months or even longer. Who would you say fillers are for? So dermal fillers with hyaluronic acid can be particularly good for anyone that wants to enhance the face with regards to treating fine lines and deep wrinkles. They can be particularly good for increasing the volume and the shape of the lips. They can be good for enhancing the contour of the face, particularly with the cheeks, but also the jawline and the chin. How do cosmeceuticals work? So cosmeceuticals are particularly good for improving the texture, tone, and smoothing any fine lines and wrinkles that you have in the skin. They work in a completely different way from Botox and dermal fillers. Specific examples of ones that we have in the clinic, which are world leaders, including Abarti, SkinCeuticals, Zenabarti, and we also have a brand new product, Nemesia, which is a DNA-based product, and it's our flagship cosmeceutical product for the clinic. Stephen, what is Nemesia? Nemesia is a bespoke, personalised 
skincare regime that is based on your own DNA. So you take a DNA sample, you send it to the lab, they analyze the DNA and they formulate four products, two creams and two serums based on your own DNA. And this is good for optimizing the barrier function of your skin, optimizing the antioxidant function, and also having an anti-aging effect as well by regulating collagen homeostasis. Book in with Hedox Clinic for a free, no obligation consultation with our aesthetic doctors who will assess and advise you as to which treatment would be best for your skin concerns.